Hi guys, today I have a massive Timu haul. They reached out to me again and they said, hey, would you like to do another sponsored video? Um, and I said, of course, you know, why not? So this time around, it's a little bit different. They locked me down to specific categories and I basically had like crafts and some of the home office craft room supplies to pick from. So I tried to submit my order twice the second time it went through. So like the first time I loaded the cart was different than the second time I loaded the cart. I don't have a full list yet of everything I ordered. So I will try to go through after and link as many products as I can down below. Um, if you haven't used Timu, I'm going to try and put a little screenshot up over here. Um, it is legit. It is not a scam. I assure you, I have so much stuff from there. Um, I always pay through PayPal, um, just to make sure I'm covered. And so far I've had no issues. If a product was out of stock between ordering and shipping, the refund's been quick. Um, I haven't had any delayed packages, so I haven't gotten the credit for a later package, but... I know some people are reporting they have. I will have my coupon code for new users down below and my link down below. Um, but yeah, this is like a $200 haul. I cannot remember how many items are in here. Some of it's kind of similar items. I mean, um, you can tell I got a lot because I actually got one of the coveted boxes. There's so many of the people doing these want a box so badly and I got one. This box is enormous. Um, I think this is actually the top. So we're going to jump in. We're going to see what I got because um, I know some of what I got, but some of it I have no clue. So in this box seems like it's seen better days. It's taped pretty well around the sides. So hopefully everything is okay. So, I'm going to sit it on the floor next to me, I think. I think that'll be safest. Okay. So, again, I don't have pricing for any of this while I'm recording, and I don't want to go through and put, like, 40 items prices on the screen. So, I will link as many as I can down below again. So, here's the first bag out. Everything is in bags here. Um... Take everything out of the bags and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I do think there's going to be several of this type of thing. These are those under drawer mount trays. And I apologize in advance for the crinkling paper. I know it drives some people nuts. But I think half the fun of an unboxing is that it's fresh even to the person unboxing it. Um, just my personal opinion. The screws are loose in the bottom here. I'm going to dump them back in the tray. But these are more of those desk drawers. Um, these ones I'm actually going to put under my desk, the two of them side by side, because these ones are a little more shallow. So um, that's what these two are for. And I do believe there might be some more in here, because like when I saw them as I was scrolling through, I kind of added them. Because when you do it this way, you can't add multiple quantities of an item like you're limited to you can add it to your cart once the way their sponsored things are set up so this is another one of the deeper ones I don't know if it's exactly the same as the original deep one or not but this one's going to go under one of my working stations I haven't even put the first one up yet because I have so many places I wanted them and I couldn't decide where to put them so this is a Broken Flower Natural Paper Watercolor Plant Paper Pad. Um, and these are not a super light paper, but not a heavy paper. But, you know, scrap of paper, junk journaling paper. All very, very pretty florals. So that was that. And I did get... <laughs> 
I got a diamond art painting. Um, I believe this one was sea turtles. I don't know if it says on here. It doesn't. Oh yeah, I can kind of see the picture in the corner. Um, I've never done a diamond art painting. My daughter did one once. Um, this one is 15 and a half by 11.8. If you've seen my video on doing the rhinestone tumbler, you'll know I really don't have the patience for this type of thing. So we're going to see if we have the patience for this. I will probably do my progress and setting it up and all of that over on my other channel. But I did get a diamond art painting. I got a bunch of like organizational type stuff. I have so many decals and vinyls and stuff. And they don't really have anything that was a 12 by 12. So this is all going to be more for, um, as I come through this stuff, for organizing decals and like my vinyl scraps and stuff. So plus all of my specialty papers, like as they get lower in the container. And I think that's what I'm going to use this one for. Holy moly. Look how big that gets. I can't even get it all in frame. But this one's going to be for, like, all of my water slides and stuff. I think they'll all fit neatly slotted in here because that just sits in a stack under my desk. And this way I can put them more readily accessible. Um, these are, like, mini binder pockets. I do believe I have, I hope I have, a binder of some sort or a planner in here for these but these ones open from the top so these will either be to store decals or die cuts or things of that nature and this was a five pack of those these are just little clear folders these I got for vinyl scraps um but I can kind of organize them into these by like theme or whatever was my thought there. And I did get some of their holographic paper. Uh, I do believe that there is a variety of styles in here. So this should be printable holographic sticker paper. Um, there's 20 sheets in here. I think this was like around the $8 mark, maybe $9. Um, but I want to see if these are a laminate or an actual printable sheet. I thought they were going to be a printable sheet, but now that I'm looking at them, I think they're actually a laminate. So this particular set anyways. Yep. Okay, so these ones are a clear laminate like you would use over stickers. Um, so they're not going to work as a principle, I don't believe. But that's okay. Um, I did do a video using a clear laminate sheet. I don't know if it's gone up yet or not. So I had mentioned that I was going to do, like, if these were printable, um, a head-to-head -head of my three holographics. Obviously, I'm not going to use these to print on, so I will just do a head-to-head -head of the two. I did order to try some of their knockoff Cricut mats. Um, I've tried several other off-brands in the past. Some are better than others. Yep, so this is a two-pack. So we will test those out at some point. I only buy the green mats. Um, I feel like the green ones are extra sticky when you first get them and then they kind of go to like a medium sticky and then they get to a light grip at some point. So I don't spend the extra money on the other matte styles. Oh boy. Here, here's our next bag. This is chuck full. I'm going to run out of table space. I'm just going to dump the bag out. So, here's the 
Here's the binder that those pages go in. It's just clear. I can decorate the front and put whatever I want on it. It does have little elastics to make it loop around the front to stay shut. To give you a white and a black. So that is that. That is for these pages. And there are some more pages in here. These ones got folded. But they will bend back, I am sure. But these ones have two pockets that open from the end for smaller items. So that is good. There's a lot of stuff in this bag. Oh my goodness. I got several of this type of product. These are little cord organizers that go like on the edge of your desk and your charging cords can sit up through them. Um, I got one for my desk over here because my Cricut cord and my like computer cord and the one printer that's actually hard plugged into the computer they're always slipping down off the desk and they do have to go back into their USB ports in a specific order. So I got one of these to mind those and the other two I got for the camper for um, the charging cables and stuff that sit on the little like end table between our two recliners. So that's what those are. I got three of those. This is a little desktop organizer. It can actually go upright like this. You can put stuff in the top and sticking out all the slots, or you can lay it down this way and use it in that direction and put little notes or whatever in here. So, and there may be more of this type of thing in here as well. I currently have, I don't remember how many mugs I counted on my desk last time. I counted how many mugs I have full of assorted tools and things, but I thought maybe if I got a couple of these, I could start perhaps paring down the number of mugs I have sitting on my desk, perhaps. So this is a, I think it's a 48 piece um, diamond art kit, because if I'm gonna do one, I might as well have all of the tools and get it all organized. So it has a little storage compartment with the labels. Um, I think it has the extra wax and the assorted size tools so because if we're gonna do it we might as well do it right and I got and I did order the wrong one I couldn't figure out when you look at their actual app versus what you look at what the affiliates look at um, there's more information on the regular site so they had multiple alphabet molds this one is not a backwards one. It's the same mold I already have, but it's the forward facing one. They did have a backwards facing one, I believe, and I had to guess which was which, and I guessed wrong. I can definitely still use this, but I'm going to have to actually, you know, fill and dome the letters a little bit so the fronts are smooth. That's the only reason I prefer a backwards one. I got one little set of windows, nope, I got a couple sets of window stickers. Hang on. And there may be more of these somewhere in here I just haven't gotten to yet, but they're all little stickers that are windows. I got them for junk journaling or putting in trays or whatever, but I may actually put a couple of these on a tumbler with like a saying wrapped around it and use some of my PET tape flowers. I don't know. Just, I thought they were cute. I did get some stencils. I don't know if there are more in here um, for junk journaling, for inking over the pages. These are little koi fish molds. Um, I thought these would be really cute for toppers when I use my fish tattoos, which I think I'm actually out of at the moment, but I'll get some more specifically so I can make a couple tumblers and make little koi in the ice toppers. And this is really funny because I just unboxed my Butterfly Lane subscription box today and, um, 
this mold's actually in the subscription box, so I now have two of them. They're just a little seashell trinket tray. So cute. So that's actually kind of funny. Um, I have a stink bug riding on my sweatshirt. How long has that been there? Sorry about that. It's warm out today, so they're better now than when I'm coating tumblers later, though. <sighs> this is my life. Um, so I have some metal dies. Oh, this is another one of those cord minders. Um, so these are some metal dies. I'm not going to unpackage them all. But this one is like a compass rose. Um, this one is little tiny envelopes. I thought these would be so cute for my junk journaling. And I did have, and I took back out of my cart, and I now regret it. Um, I had their little die cutting machine in my cart. Um, I broke my actual cuddle bug ages ago. I do have a vintage bigger one. But they have a little mini one that is perfect for, like, this size. The plate is maybe half the size of my other plate. It wouldn't take an embossing folder. But for the smaller dies, it would have been perfect. And now I'm kind of kicking myself because I did actually see somebody haul it and use it last night. Um, I got this really cute bee frame. And I just got a bunch of leaves. So that was that. I just grabbed a little tiny baby um, notepad checklist. It's a little bit bigger than a sticky notepad, than a standard size post-it notepad. Um, but I just thought I'm always making lists and stuff and for something just to grab and use. A white box. It smells like ink, so I think I know that this is another address marker, maybe. And it's... It is. Um, this is just a self-inked you run it across and it marks out your address. I do have the one. Um, but this is, ooh. That was smart. Oh, like me, what does this do? Um, this one actually is dual purpose. It has a blade on the back side. So I will keep this one in one of my areas where I unbox. And then I will keep the original one and the mini blade together in the other area where I unbox. But I figured a second one of those would be super helpful. And this is another organization thing. Key labels. But this is like a faux leather. Um, with all these pockets in it. So I think this one I'm going to use to organize all my Butterfly Lane decals is what I'm going to put in this one. I think they're going to get the prettier one and then the metal dies are going to go in the other one. And these I probably won't use for that. I'll probably just use those for junk journaling. These are more just um, little plastic clear envelopes for storing vinyl scraps, whatever. Um, just another size. This is an embossing folder. I have several of them in front of me. I wanted to see how their embossing folders are. I mean, embossing folders are basically all the same. But this one's just dandelion puffs. And this one is clouds that go this direction. A lot of embossing folders go this direction, so seeing some that go this way is kind of nice. This one is just a knit texture, a cable knit. And then this one is just a couple kind of like dahlias. 
This is yet another slim drawer. This is another paper pack. And this is a pad. It is attached at the top, but just more different colors to put with my junk journaling supplies. And I did get a big pack of stencils. I thought I had more. But this is all different patterns. I see stars and like zebra print and dots. And um, this one actually has some little things. There's quite a few of them in here. There's probably a good dozen. There's at least 10, if not 12. So those will be fun. I did order yet another pin pen. This is another mermaid one. Um, my pin pens end up wandering all around my room, so I can never have too many of them, quite frankly. Whoa. So this is a bigger silicone measuring cup. Um, this one is 300 mLs. So this will be good when I'm doing a couple of coasters at a time. Um, again, I wish I could have put my quantity up because I would have ordered several of those. Because they are kind of hard to come by. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to open this one next. Or maybe this one. This, I believe, is just another one of those drawer ones. A deep one. No? No, it's not. Oh. Okay. So, this is... <laughs> I'll be alright. This is a stacking drawer. And this is actually much bigger than I expected it to be. I am super happy with this. And I'm assuming this is the bottom. But this is like a drawer system. It does have a little, um, they're little bunny drawer handles. But they stack. I think they came in a couple colors. Um, like I said, this is much bigger than I expected. So that'll be nice. Again, more desktop storage. I thought maybe paintbrushes and stuff could go in this one. Um, I think there might be another one in this bag. I think that looks like the same type of thing, but it's buried under other stuff. And I just ripped the zipper off my bag. Hope that I can get into it without breaking the bag. So these are two more. These ones are clear, but they came in a two-pack. Um, same concept as the white one, but these are just clear. They And these ones actually have um, things where you could hang them on the wall. So if you had wall space to do that, again, they can sit this way or that way or hang on the wall. And they are a little bit wider than the white one. So... Oh, this is an even bigger silicone cup. Cool. This one is 700 mLs, which would have been perfect the other day when I was doing molds and coasters. But Okay, so I did have another one of those. This is a little folding laptop stand. Um, sometimes when I'm working, like sitting at a table, it would be nice to have the laptop props up a little bit more just for comfort like if I'm sitting down for a long haul it comes in a nice little storage bag it folds down compact and setup appears to be super simple but it has all these different positions it can go in so um, and I like that it's compact and portable so that is what that was You're obviously not going to use this sitting on your lap, but if you have just a flat lap desk or something that doesn't have a tilt and you're working on a couch or something, 
This would be good. So, here's another silicone mold. They had several versions of this. Um, but this is just a cute little mushroom jar. You pour the jar here, and then the lid is the top of the mushroom. Um, I just thought it was cute. I figured we'd try one of those at some point. So... And this is one of those plastic things. This one's the same as the white one. Um, just in a mintier green color. It's all mismatched because, like I said, I could only put a quantity of one. The clear had the option of a quantity of two, so that's why I have two of that one. This is the three compartment drawer thing. And these are cut out to stack. On top of each other. They did have different sizes, configurations. I think these came in a pink and maybe some other color, but I thought they were pretty neat and, uh, like I said, way bigger than I anticipated. So I am really happy with those. And another one of the slim undermount drawers. So I'm going to have to figure out where I'm putting which undermounts. I don't know what this is. I think this is another drawer thing. I'm down to my last two items. Good news. This is a white big, so I think I ordered a two pack of these. I think the big white ones are going to go under my Turner station to hold gloves. At least one of them is going to hold gloves. Probably two of them. Um, one I'll probably put like vinyl gloves in. One I'll put nitriles in. Just to get them out of the way. This might be more of the drawer things. Oh, this is a big, big one. Holy moly. This one might actually end up sitting on my desk under my laptop. I'm thinking that's upside down. It is flat on top. But this one's actually kind of frosted color. I think this is part of a stackable system too, but not the same stackable system. It's part of a different system. They do have all kinds of stuff like this though. But I thought these ones were a good size. Holy. So this may actually end up on the desk under the laptop, which is good because my laptop actually sits a little low. It used to sit on top of my old laptop, but um, my old laptop I only used for my tax stuff. So I'm going to move this year's tax stuff to the new laptop and then get rid of the old one. So, but yeah, this one is enormous and very cool. So... That is everything from Timu. Uh, quite a variety of stuff. And definitely a lot of organizational stuff, which I desperately need. I am hoping that by the end of the day today, I'm going to be far enough ahead on cup videos to be to like almost midweek next week. I don't even know when this is airing. But then I can actually be shut down for a couple days and really work on getting my space back together and organized because I just have stuff everywhere. I have one video I need to like buckle down and record for the other channel because I still have all the packaging and stuff that I need to get put away. So, but yeah, this was my haul. Like I said, a lot of organizational stuff. Um, I mean, six of these, like, that should be plenty, right? <laughs> but that is everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I will try to find, like I said, the links to as much of this stuff down below as I can. And uh, my coupon code, my link for Timu will be down below. If you haven't checked them out yet, check them out. Um, 
I don't have all of the individual pricing from all of this handy. And I don't know that everything I had ordered is even here because I lost track of what I ordered. Um, but the order I submitted was just about $200. So for everything you just saw. Um, but yeah, I am super excited about some of this stuff. And as I kind of get stuff organized and get it put in place, maybe I'll pop back in here and there and show you how it's working out. But I am pretty confident in everything I ordered here. So, um, and again, maybe we'll set up and do the diamond art on the other channel because that's what that channel is for is all of the other stuff. So thank you for bearing with me on this super long haul. Um, You'll definitely see me using some of this on tumblers. Um, you'll see some of it on the junk journaling videos on the other channel. We will we'll definitely get one of these little cute guys poured. And um, yeah, and we'll test out those Cricut mats. And I'm going to get these mounted ASAP. That much I do know. Because then I can clear off that whole top surface over there. So... That is it. Thank you very much, Timu. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And um, let me know what you've been buying from Timu and what you like. Or if you're a first-time order. Because um, it is great fun. I actually have two more orders coming that I put in that I'll do on the other channel. Um, like, the one was just, I gave myself a $25 budget. And I put in the word turtle. And, like the first items that came up under turtle that spoke to me in some way went in my cart. I did mess up. I double ordered one thing and clicked something out of my cart. So, um, but that happens. So, um, but that'll be a cute little haul coming up as soon as that one arrives. That should be here sometime next week. It is in transport. So, um, but I plan to do some more like themed ones like that in the near future. Um, but anyways, that is it. I will see you next time.